So you want to buy an Icon A5, the flying jet ski. Primary difference between the Icon and the jet ski is that the jet ski can carry way more weight, some as much as 600 pounds, and also one of them can fly. A5 performance is pretty average for an amphibious light sport. Amphibious aircraft, of course, require the ability to float and to have retractable gear. That's a lot of stuff to pack into the light sport weight category. 430 pounds useful load is something to consider. A full tank of gas in this plane weighs 120 pounds. If I was going to take off in this plane with a full tank of fuel, I'd have my choice of either carrying my 10-year-old cousin or a case of beer, but not both. So what does the Icon have going for it? I mean, it does look pretty cool. Certainly not purchase price. This is the most expensive LSA I've ever seen. $380,000 for a fully optioned Icon is bananas. But let's say you manage to acquire one. What's it cost to own? The short answer is a lot. Insurance is expensive. Annuals are very expensive. Included in the cost of annual is the cost to repack the parachute every seven and a half years and the cost to replace the ballistic rocket that launches the parachute every 15. Hangar is actually completely optional. If you're the type of person to own an Icon, you're also likely able to store it on your own property. If you have some water, a dock, and a garage or a barn, you don't need a hangar. Fuel cost is very reasonable. The reserve cost for overhaul is high because the airframe itself has a TBO of 2,000 hours. And an average hourly miscellaneous maintenance cost of $38 is also very high. You may think I'm exaggerating these numbers, but all of these numbers actually came directly from Icon themselves. Add it all up and the cost to operate is really high. If you're seriously considering an Icon, you'd be doing yourself a huge favor to investigate things like the Super Patrol, the C-Max, the C-Ray, and the Carbon Cub SS. If you'd like to see a video like this on any of those, leave it in the comments. That's it for this one. See you in the next.